recording. All right. And um, good after greetings. I am going to introduce you to Aisha Sani Luga, who is from the Katsina State in northwestern Nigeria. She's a registered nurse, a registered midwife, and a registered public health nurse, as well as a registered nurse educator. She obtained her Bachelor of Science degree from Amadou Bello University, Zaria, and a master's degree with a specialty in maternal and child health nursing. She's a lecturer with the College of Nursing Sciences, Katsina, Katsina State, and has attended various national and international conference and workshops with various governmental and non-governmental organizations. She also facilitated different reproductive services programs, such as family planning programs, adolescent and youth-friendly reproductive services, among others. She published in various journals, among which includes assessment and utilizations of natural family planning among married women of reproductive age in the Shinkapi town of Katsina State in Northwest Nigeria. And this was published in the Dutse Journal of Pure and Applied Sciences, and also on the assessment of excess lifetime cancer risks from GABA radiation levels around the so Koro Cement Industrial Area from Northwestern Nigeria in the FADMU um, Journal of Sciences. And today she is going to talk about mater determinants of maternal modern contraceptive choice among postpartum women in Katsina State, Nigeria. So over to you. Um, Ms. Luca. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. As well introduced by Ms. Catherine, I'm Aisha Sani Luca from Katsina State, Nigeria. I'm, all, I'm a registered nurse, a registered midwife, a registered public health nurse, and also a registered nurse educator. educator. I'm here to present my research on determinants of modern contraceptive choices among postpartum women in Katsina State, Nigeria. The introduction, the use of contraceptives is essential in improving maternal and child health. And the choice of contraceptive methods among postpartum women is, an, is a very important determinant in family planning services. Um, this study was conducted and carried out in Katsina State, Nigeria and it was carried out to examine the determinants, prevalence, and most common utilized modern contraceptive choices among postpartum women attending secondary health facilities in Katsina State, Nigeria, where a cross-sectional descriptive study was conducted among 414 women in six secondary health facilities across the three senatorial zones of Katsina State, Northwestern Nigeria, using a semi-structured questionnaire as the method of data collection. The use of contraceptives, according to World Health Organization, is an avenue which allows women to attain their desired number of children, and it also helps women to determine the space in between births, that is between pregnancies. It also helps in improving positive maternal and child outcome. Um, and postpartum family planning is the use of methods of contraception within the first 12 months following delivery to prevent closely spaced and unintended pregnancies. Next slide. During the postpartum period, there are a variety of methods that can be used by women. And those methods are usually user dependent and they can only be initiated in a health facility by a healthcare provider after proper counseling. Although postpartum family planning is given high priority for many countries, but its uptake and needs varies in, from low, in low and middle income countries. Although there is high, there's greater need 
to delay pregnancy using contraceptive, but in middle and low income country, countries, the use of modern contraceptives is very, very low with a very high rate of maternal and child mortalities. Next slide. <clears throat> Accessibility and availability of contraceptive services to meet women's contraceptive needs during the postpartum period has been a challenge with about 190 million, about 10% of women having an unmet needs for family planning. This is according to the United Nations 2019. In, the, in African context, we find an enduring disparity in the utilization of modern contraceptives among postpartum women. Specific regions, including Northern Nigeria, still struggling with this consider considerably lower rates of adoption. And this, region, and this regional contrast in contraceptive prevalence present a substantial impediment to achieving the ambitious goal set by the Maputo Plan of Action, which aims to endure universal access to reproductive health services by the year 2030. Within the confines of Nigeria, the nation confronts a multifaceted predicament, that of high fertility rates. Women in Nigeria have a fertility rate of more than 5.5%, with women having at least six to seven children, there's also substantial unmet need for family planning. Our unmet need in Nigeria is still very low with the state having less than 1% of this unmet family planning needs. And also a glaring lack of access to modern contraceptives for postpartum women, because most women regard the postpartum period as a period not, uh, not good to use contraceptive. And the gravity of this situation becomes evident as Nigeria struggles to meet its national family planning target. Going deeper into the specific situation in the state, a, uni a unique set of cultural and socioeconomic factors wasn't a problem. And this element persistently hinder postpartum women from assessing and utilizing modern contraceptives resulting in pregnancies that are closely spaced and leading to negative health outcomes to both mother and the children. For the mothers, there is high risk for maternal mortality, abortions, and other morbidities related to closely spaced pregnancy. And this study, the, the study design was a descriptive cross-sectional one, and it is conducted in six secondary health facilities located within Kassana State, Northwest Nigeria. The sample size was determined using the covering formula in which a total of 414 women were gotten based on 95% confidence interval and 5% margin of error. The sampling was limited to postpartum women, that is women that gave birth from birth to the first 14 months after delivery, who presented themselves in the secondary health facilities in any of the family planning entry points. A semi-structured interviewer administered questionnaire was used as method for data collection, and it was designed by the researcher and tested for validity and reliability by the research assistant. Data obtained from the questionnaire was entered into a Microsoft Excel sheet and all statistical, statistical analysis we are conducted using the SPSL Statistics 222 and the social demographic data obtained was analyzed using a descriptive statistics and summarized in tabular forms, illustrated and summarized as percentages. The contraceptive choices among postpartum women was analyzed using percentage to determine the respondents' contraceptive choices and contraceptive practices. Tests for analysis are the chi-square and the regression analysis to assess the determining factors, that is the factors associated with contraceptive choices among postpartum women, in which a differences are considered significant if the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Then going into the results, the first result is that of the prevalence of modern contraceptive methods among the respondents. 
meaning that out of 414 women, 54% of postpartum women are presently using a form one or a form of modern contraceptive, on which we found 54% using contraceptive and only 46% not using contraceptive. So the prevalence of modern contraceptive is a percentage of 54%. Then the prevalence of modern contraceptive based on types of methods. So we divided the methods into all the hormonal methods are then classified as hormonal methods, including the oral contraceptive pills, the injectable, the implants are all considered as the hormonal methods. Then we have the IUCD, which is the intrauterine contraceptive device, and those women practicing the lactation and amenorrhea. For the hormonal method, we find 92% of those women using contraceptives are using hormonal methods, and only 7.5% are using the IUCD, and 1% of the people using contraceptive are practicing the lactational amenorrhea, which is a natural family planning method. Then the, show, the table below will show the bivariate analysis of the social demographic characteristic associated with current postpartum contraceptive use and not use. All right. Then we have the variables as age, parity, level of education, and birth complication. For usage, the age group, about 86%, about, about 35, sorry, about 37% of women within the age range of 31 to 50% are presently using a contraceptive method. And if you go to the parity, 28% of women having five children and more are those using, presently using modern, a form of modern contraceptive. The level of education, those with formal education accounting for 48% are those using modern contraceptive. Then birth complication, about 38% of women not using it have previous birth complication. So only 31% only that 1% of those using contraceptive have not previous, have no previous bad complication during their previous deliveries. Mm -hmm. Then we also have poor mobility. We have partner influence. We have family structure, health personal influence, and we have marital status. Among women using contraceptive, among you women using contraceptive, comorbidity, 32% have no any comorbidity. So partner influence also, 29% um, have, have no influence from their partner, so they are not being supported by their partners. Then family structure, we have 42% of such women using contraceptive have are from a monogamous family. That is because in our locality, we have monogamous family and we have polygamous family. So most women using contraceptive are not from a polygamous, but rather they are what? From a monogamous family structure. Then influence from health personnel, maybe through counseling or any influence a health personnel might have, account for 39% of youth. The marital status, most women about 55% of those presently using modern contraceptive are, present, are presently married. Then discussion of our findings. Respondents that are currently using oral pills, because oral pills common, uh, recorded under hormonal methods. So respondents that are currently using oral pills method of modern contraceptive accounted for 24% of the responses, 16.6% are using injection, and 8.5% 8, 8 are using implant. But only 4.11% of respondents are using intrauterine contraceptive devices. Also, most of the respondents had previous history of using pills in the past, and similarly, 1.88% of respondents had used injection methods in the past. The respondents that have a history of using implant method of oral contraceptive have, have accounted for 22.7% of the responses, but only 4.11 had a history of using IUCD previously. Next slide. 
The study assess if there's an association between age and contraceptive utilization, and it shows that age has no significant influence on contraceptive use. Older women uses modern contraceptive compared to the younger women, according to the research. The study also shows no significant association of parity with, with contraceptive usage. Women that give birth to more than four children utilizes modern contraceptive more than those that have four and below. Then the study shows no, no association between formal education and contraceptive use. Those with formal education uses modern contraceptive more compared to those with no formal education. The birth complication also has no any significant influence to modern contrast postpartum contraceptive use. The study, the study also shows that women with a history of contraceptive use previously continue using contraceptive than those that never use. Then the result also shows that comorbidities do not significantly influence contraceptive use. And the analysis reveals that the partner influence does not show a significant association with postpartum contraceptive use, and family structure can potentially influence postpartum contraceptive practice, but no impact of family structure is associated with contraceptive use. The study also shows no health personal influence as a factor to contraceptive use and find no significant association. The study shows a marginal association between marital status and postpartum contraceptive use with those, in, with those marri married, divorced, and widowed, showing significant higher contraceptive utilization. But the study shows no significant association between marital status and contraceptive use. In conclusion, modern contraceptive uptake among postpartum women in Kazakhstan state is influenced by family planning counseling given by healthcare providers during the ANC. Partners' involvement in contraception, post modern contraceptive use, and more on postpartum women knowing at least one method of modern contraception available at the health facility. While the fear of side effect and partners' rejection are the major reason for modern contraceptive non use. And this study, like any other, found that the poorest young women and those with no education continue to use modern contraceptive method less than those with the, more than the younger women and those with higher education. Okay, these are my references, and thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aisha. That was very that was very interesting. Thank you I very wonder, much. <laughs> I wonder why the women don't use IUDs so often. Yes. IUDs are not commonly used in this locality. Do is it because it goes inside the body, you think? Yeah, yes. Yeah. They have that strong fear that it goes down inside the uterus and there are cases of myths and misconception regarding IUCD. Okay. Yes. All right. Inter well, inter implant is I highly thought it stopped recording. Stop, reco stop recording. Stop recording.